Cattails are a common sight in waterways around the world as a normal, healthy part of wetland ecosystems. But as their population grows, so does their potential for negative impacts. Researchers from public and private institutions study problematic species, like overgrown cattail, in North American wetlands, particularly the Florida Everglades, the Laurentian Great Lakes, and the Prairie Pothole region. Typha is the scientific name for cattail. These tall, reed-like plants grow rapidly in waterlogged areas, particularly areas disturbed by human activity. Cattail multiplies quickly from wind-transported seeds or genetically identical copies grown from existing roots. It's well adapted to watery environments. Plants can grow in waters up to six feet deep, and a special air ventilation system transports oxygen to the submerged roots and rhizomes. Wetlands support a diverse ecosystem and further help society by purifying and storing fresh water and by driving global nutrient cycling. But human activity and cattails impact wetland health. Millions of wetlands have been drained to build infrastructure or convert land for farming. Activities upstream have significant consequences on downstream wetlands. When human activity disrupts a wetland, either by adding nutrients from agricultural runoff or by changing natural water cycles, it's easier for cattail to take hold. It displaces other plant species, reducing biodiversity. Cattail alters the breeding habitat and food supply for birds. Fish and insect populations decline as natural plant cover is displaced. Cattail generates much dead plant material, storing carbon and reducing the amount released in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. However, extra carbon in water-soaked soil is a perfect home for microbes that emit methane, an even stronger greenhouse gas. Maintaining healthy wetlands is vital for regulating climate. Cattail catches sediment, which raises soil nutrient levels. Too much phosphorus can lead to harmful algal blooms. To help remove phosphorus from aquatic systems, managers can harvest nutrient-rich leaves. The leaves are so carbon-rich, they can then be pelletized and used for biofuel. Indigenous peoples also harvest cattails for food and materials. Cattails' effects on wetland ecosystems are complex, and therefore management strategies must be too. Using just one herbicide or physical control technique has only temporary effects as cattail can quickly regrow and reestablish dominance. Using a combination of strategies, such as flooding, herbicides, and burning, managers can control cattail populations, but they also need information on positive and negative effects of these practices. Interdisciplinary science is vital for effective research into cattails' impacts and management. Studies that use ecology, genetics, computer modeling, and biogeochemistry are all essential for understanding complex wetland ecosystems in their entirety.